Also to discuss uh, the um, uh, flocking of uh, tourists to Egypt, particularly in the first five months of this year. And to shed more light on this, we are very much delighted to have with us via phone our tourism expert, Mr. Yahya Abdel Eder. Hello, sir. A very good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Amin. How are you? Fine. Thank you, sir. And uh, let's start immediately with the reasons. In your opinion, what are the reasons behind receiving the unprecedented numbers of tourists? here in Egypt, particularly, as I said, in the first five months of 2023? Well, really, due to the diversity of historical attractions, heritage, and uh, archaeological reputation of Egypt, it attracts, you know, like millions of visitors per year on, on a global basis. Uh, Bryce competitiveness, enabling environment, travel and tourism uh, policy priority, are among the factors that one Egypt, you know, like its advanced in ranking on the charts of the United Nations World Tourism Organization charts. Yeah. So really all these facts make it Egypt, you know, like as a must-see destination. And also, if you permit me to say, when it comes to um, places or to cities like, <coughs> beg your pardon, like Cairo, like Sharm el-Sheikh, like Luxor, and to find them winning um, a global awards, and um, to uh, let the whole world know that um, it's not only one place. You can visit so many places, so many cities, and enjoy, as you've kindly mentioned, diversity of uh, tourism uh, types. Uh, yes, and uh, kindly remember that uh, world uh, travel media, such as the CNN, the BBC, the Time magazine, and National Geographic as well, they periodically list Egypt as a must-see destination. Mm -hmm. Last week, for example, Sharm Sheikh won two prestigious mm -hmm. awards. The first one is the Sustainable uh, Arab Resort of the Year. The second one, through the Live.com as Travel Association, and that was held, you know, like in Malta. They ranked 25 destinations worldwide, and Sharm Sheikh came third after Portugal and Denmark. Yep. So this is really great, you know, like uh, triumph and prestige for Egypt. To add to what you have said, sir, regarding digitalization and regarding easing the measures of acquiring a visa to Egypt, to what extent um, uh, uh, those facilitations are really helping? Really, you know, like uh, these factors that you already mentioned, really they doubled, you know, like the uh, impact and the demand on Egyptian tourist destinations because it made it accessible and uh, as well as the digitalization and so the influencers and the fan trips and the road shows that Egypt conducts regularly. That's why, you know, like our capacity of travel to Egypt, the uh, inbound travel uh, has been doubled and inshallah will exceed the 50 million mark uh, by end of the by season. By the end of the year, inshallah, uh, uh, this was uh, what was said by His Excellency Minister of Tourism and Antiquities. But the, um, even um, we cannot skip uh, mentioning the importance of uh, promotional campaigns and of social media and of the travel agencies. Still, we do have a lot to do, a lot of homework, if you want to elaborate on that. Uh, definitely, yes. And uh, we are fortunate, so fortunate currently because we have an excellent uh, airline network of international airlines. For example, uh, with Air is currently flying 48 shuttle flights per week, coming to Marsa Alam, to Haggadah, Sharm el-Sheikh, Borg al-Arab, Marsa Matruh, direct flights to major Egyptian destinations. And in addition Jeddah. to Taba, Taba also returned. Exactly, yeah, coming directly, you know, like flying directly from Jeddah and Emirates and yeah. other world destinations directly to Egyptian destination, Luxon, Aswan. That's why the volume of travelers has been doubled, inshallah. Inshallah. And, um, of, course, of course, we do hope that the uh, Russian-Ukrainian um, war is going to have an end. But what's going on in Europe and the supply chain problem, the energy problem, I think that this is giving also the chance to other um, uh, places to see the opportunity and to... Um, for, for many um, travelers to choose Egypt as a tourism hub. True? Yeah, definitely because of its diversity, its fair weather, its uh, price competitiveness, you know, like it's a year-round resort, 
and it's accessible. You know, we're only three hours away from flights from the Mediterranean and, and Europe, uh, the Gulf, uh, you know, like states as well. So that's why, you know, like we have inflows of international to Egypt year-round. We have visitors who love to visit Egypt in the summer, like the Italians, like the Spanish. They like to go to Luxor and Aswan in the summer as well. Then we have the French, the German, the British. Uh, world tourism, you know, like travelers, they love to visit Egypt year-round as we wait. And with the inauguration of the Grand Egyptian Museum or the gym, this is going to be another turning point. And we are expecting a lot. And we are preparing for this day or this week, to be accurate, as, uh, as I said, a turning point and as a way not only to say that we are ready to receive millions of travelers or guests, but to say that really the gym is Egypt's gift to humanity. Uh, absolutely right. You know, like travel writers, world media, really they are lining up to come, you know, like and have an outlook at the Grand Egyptian Museum and uh, convey this to their audiences and media worldwide, travel influencers as well. So really, uh, this is an icon of the, uh, uh, you know, like of our 21st century. The whole world is anticipating the opening hours and the lining up. And we'll see the rush, you know, like to get access and get advanced booking and tickets, you know, like to visit, you know, like our icon shortly, inshallah. In addition to, sir, the exhibitions we have outside, I mean, the very successful tour of uh, um, our great Ramsed II in Paris and uh, to find King Tut, for example, in the States or in Europe, when you find that, uh, not hundreds, Tens of thousands of people are ready to pay a lot just to have a glimpse on um, the mummy of, uh, of King of uh, our Pharaoh, Ramses II, or the golden uh, mask of King Tut. And this is only one or very few um, pieces of his golden collection. This is to say that the whole world is really keen to have just a glimpse uh, at our civilization, so they are going really to enjoy themselves here in Egypt. Uh, definitely true, because, you know, like in Ohio and uh, the United States, they have, you know, like an exhibition for the replica of King Tut, mm -hmm. and it is sold out for, you know, like six months from now. So this is just a replica, and you see how visitors are lining up to tour and look, you know, like at a copy of the treasures of King Tut, but imagine when they come to, uh, to the Grand Egyptian Museum and they have the whole treasure, 5,000 pieces, you know, like under one roof. Mm. So this is, you know, like a great exhibition for us and for uh, mankind as well. Sir, I cannot also skip asking about local tourism. And particularly, this is going to be a high season, Al Eid, uh, the uh, Greater Bahram or uh, the Feast of Sacrifice, Eid Al Adha. Of course, uh, happy Eid to you and to all our viewers, to all people all over the world. Thank you. How this is going to be also uh, a nice occasion to, uh, for Egyptians to enjoy their own country. So, because they do have the right. Well, fortunately, you know, like, uh, you know, like Eid Al-Adha is, you know, like associated at the same time with the summer vacation. And I think most universities and schools, you know, like are done with their final exams now. So the families are packing up, you know, like to head for the beaches, you know, like uh, nationwide in the Mediterranean and Red Sea as well to enjoy, you know, like uh, Eid Al-Adha combined it, you know, like with the summer vacation. So this is going to be a great opportunity for us and for visitors from the Arab world as well. Mm -hmm. We love to come and spend, you know, like summer vacation in Egypt, enjoy the entertainment, the theaters, the movies, the uh, diversity of the Egyptian cuisine, shopping, you know, like medical treatment. So we will go and have a, a great summer uh, season and vacation. Inshallah. Uh, Inshallah. Well, um, uh, Mr. Yahya Abdel Qadr, our tourism expert, thank you very much for your input, sir. Have a very good day. Sports tourism, health tourism, entertainment, culture, museums, you name it. Whatever is the, your favorite type of tourism, you are going to find it here in Egypt. Egypt should be 
of the top, if not the first, in a long list of uh, tourism hubs all over the world. By this, we come to the end of uh, our breakfast show today. Stay tuned on Live TV International always for more updates and for more details, please log on to www.nileinternational.net. Many thanks for watching. This was Nirmin Abdurrahman.